All right, guys, welcome back to Downtown Rams. As always, I'm your host, Alexis Kraft, joined here with my co-host, Jake Ellenbogen. And we are continuing with our 2024 NFL Draft Prospect interviews. And joining us right now on the show, guys, a very special guest. We have wide receiver Jalen Coker out of Holy Cross. How are you doing, Jalen? I'm doing great. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely, man. Well, hey, we're going to start it off uh, something to to get us all loose and, and ready for this thing. Before we get into football, we got two fun questions here. And the first one <clears throat> that I'm going to ask you is probably something you've never been asked before. I don't even know how I came up with it. But if you could compare yourself to one fictional character in any medium, who would it be and why? One fictional character? Um. I mean, I'm a big superhero guy, so I'd have to say Spider-Man. It's my dog. I just love his values, his, <laughs> you know, everything that he does is like, you know, growing up, I've always wanted to be Spider-Man, you know, so that that's who I would pick. I'm with you. Ironically, I hate spiders, but I'm totally with you there. <laughs> he he was pointing to, he has a Spider-Man mask yeah, in his right background, there. but like. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah. You can barely yeah. see it. It's kind of cut off, but yeah. <laughs> gotta gotta yeah. accentuate that one. Gotta make, bring it to the forefront. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. <laughs> For sure. Uh, next question: Outside of football, uh, what is a unique talent that you have that some people might not know about? We say unique talent, right? And like my thing is, like, yes, you you know, we know you can play football at a high level, but don't uh, you know, don't hold yourself back here because like we just heard what was one of the ones that we just heard? Someone could uh, what was it? Is it uh, Arabic? He, he could read Arabic. He could read Arabic. So it could other, be anything. The yeah, other no, guy I'm, said he could sing, which is, I consider a talent because I cannot sing. So that's, to me, that's an awesome talent. Yeah. I mean, those are two really good ones. I mean, I guess I can draw a little bit, like with nothing like insane, but I can, I can draw a little bit. That's cool, I, though. I like that. That is cool. I like that. Yeah. Um. All right. So how'd you get into football? How'd you, how'd you get into this thing? Well, I mean, growing up, I like ever since a young age, I've always been interested in playing football, always wanted to play football. So like ever since I was probably about like six years old, I was doing flag. And then from there it was tackle. And then I made like an all-star league for tackle. And then it just kind of started to snowball into just what it is now where I'm doing it every other day, you know. And I think that just comes from like I played every sport, like pretty much like give or take every sport. And like football is just the one that I gravitated towards the most. Like it was just the most fun and just. I had such a great time doing it. And growing up, did you watch a lot of football, you know, watch a lot of the NFL? And if so, was there any players that you looked up to and aspired to be like? Um, I definitely would like, I would watch a, like some football. I mean, I wouldn't say I was like glued to the TV or anything, but I mean, my mom was a Chargers fan uh, when they were in San Diego. So I loved watching, you know, like Antonio Gates, Dane Tomlinson, you know, those guys. So um I definitely would watch it a little bit, but I mean, LT was probably my favorite growing up. That's awesome. I, I mean, he was, he was incredible to go from like Marshall Falk setting records, LT breaking them. I mean, they're just I- incredible. And he was so hard to bring down. It was just like, you know, and then you talk about the agility and everything, which I mean, I kind of see that in you sometimes. Like you got that agility, like, you know, kind of, kind of sneaky, hard to bring down and everything. It's, uh, it, it's pretty cool, but um, I want to know, you know, what made you choose Holy Cross? Um, so I, I visited like a couple schools, you know, I didn't really feel like they were quite the fit for me, but then I got the Holy Cross offer. My mom always wanted me to get a good education, like going to, when I went to college. So Holy Cross says, you know, pretty much almost on par with Ivy league schools, education wise, they have a great alumni system. Um, and then Coach Chesney, you know, he was like this like prodigy coach at the time. So like he, they just won a Patriot League the year before, and he was kind of selling me the dream, like you know, it's going to be a dynasty. We're going to continue to win here. You know, the guys that we we were bringing in were very good. The coaching staff was really good. The guys that laid the foundation for us were really good. And then it all just kind of like checked all the boxes for me, and it really just made sense. And looking back at your time at Holy Cross, what are your favorite memories uh, from your playing career there? Um, I mean, definitely one of my biggest ones is going in my freshman year, making a catch, scoring a touchdown, like my first catch, my first touchdown are big ones for me. I'm never going to forget those. Um, 
catching the ball for us to win our first playoff game in school history was another big one for us. Um, I mean, I go on and on, you know, it's, a, it's just, a, it was really like a kind of a insane year to have in football. I think, what is it? Five championships that we had. So, I mean, it's just, you don't hear about that all the time. And I think just the biggest memories I'm going to have are just like being such a tight knit team where everyone, you know, loved everybody. And it was just such a great, you know, opportunity to be a part of that and, you know, really experience that with all the guys. And uh, how's this uh, pre-draft process treated you? I know you've been a part of, you know, some of these, uh, you know, college all-star games. Um, you know, what's been this whole experience? What has it been like? It's been kind of surreal, you know? I mean, it's it's always been my dream to be in this position. So now I'm here. Um, but, you know, I, I'm trying not to get caught, too caught up that I am here. And, I, you know, the work's not even close to being done. You know, I was telling my, talking to my dad, like, I worked my whole life to get to this opportunity. And then once I get there, like, it's just the start of the journey, you know? So, I mean, it's just, it's surreal. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a great time with it, but I'm just trying to, you know, stay focused and just keep the main thing, the main thing. And uh, you were just at the Shrine Bowl. What was that experience like? It was great. I mean, um, being around a bunch of really good talent, um, meeting a bunch of new people, and then being coached by, current NFL coaches and seeing how they run their rooms and seeing how they interact with other players. It was really cool to kind of have like that, like peek into like what I'm going to be getting into early. So I really enjoyed that. And I thought it was, you know, it was uh, definitely a blessing for sure. Who's the toughest player you went up against in college? In college, I would have to say Elijah Jones from BC. Um, Really good player. I mean, I think he was like first team all ACC, you know, like he's like, a dude. So, I mean, he was definitely the best player I played against. And, uh, look, you know, looking back at your time playing football, do you have any, you know, close friends that you've played with in college or maybe growing up, uh, that you've played football with who are still on this journey with you? And now you guys are going into the NFL together. Well, I mean, yeah, actually, I mean, CJ Hansen, my uh, O lineman, he's here with me actually in Florida, so that's cool. We get to kind of experience all the experiences together, and it's so like, it's, like I'm so grateful to have like someone that is literally right here with me that I can talk to, and like you know I could just drive over to his house right now and just be like, yo, what's up, you know? So I feel like that is something that I'm really thankful for. Um, and a couple other guys that are taking fifth years, um, they're gonna have this opportunity, in, you know a year. So, I mean, I, I get to talk to them, see how, how they're doing and stuff like that. So it's just cool to be in a position, be in the position that I'm in and have like, you know, someone else to be there with me. It's always been really cool, you know, getting to talk to prospects because it's like, you know, sometimes like, Oh, your friend is in the NFL and can give you a little bit of insight. And then, you know, of course you're in that position where you get to the NFL and now you can give someone else insight. And it's always, it's always cool kind of like, oh yeah, like, you know, you're not even thinking about it and be like, oh yeah, who are, who do you, who are you most like, you know, friends with or whatever. And, you know, one of the prospects will say, oh yeah, it's uh, this guy, he's in the NFL. You probably heard of him and it's like Puka Nakua or somebody, you know, and it's like, oh, okay. And it's just, it's funny how that whole thing goes, but looking at, you know, your body of work, what is your biggest strength as a player? Um, I think my biggest strength as a player is just, you know, I'm a bigger guy, but I feel like I'm very I can, you can move me around. Like I can be slot outside. Like I feel like I'm fast enough to play on the outside. I'm twitchy enough to play on the inside. I have, you know, really sure hands, um, you know, and I feel like, you know, I just I just want it, you know, like I, when the ball's in the air, like it's my that's my football, you know. So I feel like that's just a kind of like an intangible trait that you can't really like coach or measure. It's just kind of something that I have that separates me a little bit. Yeah, I definitely would agree with that. Um, having watched you play and your hands as is something that I know Jake and I both very impressed with. Uh, you don't drop anything, which is a very good trait to have um, as a wide receiver. But going into the NFL draft, is there anything that you're looking to improve on with your game? Oh, I mean, a ton of things. I feel like I'm still I'm, I'm not the best player. Like I haven't scratched the, my potential yet. I feel like I'm still very raw. You know, I could definitely work on route running, all the little things, footwork. I mean, I feel like what I have right now is a good base, but I think think building on the things that I'm not as strong in is what I want to work on better. So route running, footwork, you know, 
it's things like that. All right. You get one quarterback. Who are you? Who do you most want to catch a touchdown pass from in the NFL? I mean, I'm going to go with the PR answer and I'm going to say anyone, you know, like I can't, <laughs> I don't want to like go somewhere and then say, I'd rather have a touchdown from someone else. You know, I feel like just having the opportunity to be in the league, catch a pass from anybody, backup starter, it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, um, I guess I'll say um, Jalen Hurts would be funny because you could say Jalen to Jalen. So that there you go. Cool. That's true. Has a nice ring to it. Very true. And uh, you know, we are Rams podcast, so we ask uh, all the prospects that come on our show. Uh, have you spoken with the Los Angeles Rams yet in this draft process? Um, I don't believe I have actually. I don't believe I have. Well, it's a long process, and I'm sure at some point you will. Um, now I want to ask you, do you love to win more or hate to lose more? It's a good question. Um, it is I think a I, tough I, I one. I think I hate to lose more. Yeah. That's my answer. That, that I think, is the most popular answer when we ask that, um, is the hating to lose. But it, it keeps me up at night. I genuinely don't uh, know what my answer would be. It changes based on the day. Uh, but just, that's why we like to ask it. And then we hear that teams do ask that, too. Yeah. So if you hear I'm it again, ask that question. yeah, yeah, it's it's a popular question, I think. Um, but you know, in closing here, Jalen, in your own words, who is Jalen Coker as a player, and who is he as a person? Um, as a player, I say I'm very competitive. Um, I'm hungry. You know, I feel like um, I belong. You know, I feel like it's just this is something that I'm I'm ready to to do. Like I'm prepared. Um, excited. I mean, I could probably go every list of word you can think of. I mean, it's just an awesome experience. And then off the field, I mean, I feel like, you know, I'm a really chill guy, nice, um, caring. I feel like, you know, just like I'm the type of guy where I see trash on the floor, even if it's not mine, I'll go pick it up. You know, like that's something that I just like doing. It's something that, you know, Coach Chesney has instilled with me through the college, through college. And, you know, I feel like that's just something that, um, I want to continue being someone I want to continue being. I like that. We're going to wrap it up with one more question. It's a four parter and it's just basically getting your thoughts on a movie that you could recommend us a TV show. You could re recommend us a snack and an album. Okay. So the first was what? Uh, favorite movie. Or, favorite well, movie. It doesn't have to be a favorite, but like, what would you recommend like for somebody yeah. for a movie? Um, I would say Blade. I love it. I that was my movie. can't wait for the new one. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it might not come out until you're enshrined in Canton, but yeah. you know, <laughs> but yeah, I know. Good one. Uh, TV show. Um, TV show. Hmm. And I'll go with, I'll go with the office. Okay. Classic. Classic. That's a good one. So then and we got a snack, which is mostly for me. I'm the one that cares about the snacks. Snacks. <laughs> she specifies that, like, I don't care about eating food. <laughs> mm, like, is it like a snack, like candy or like any any snack? Could be anything. 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 I would say I would say Twix. That's my go-to. Can't Twix. go wrong with Twix. Twix good. It's a good one. So then lastly would be an album, music album. That's good. Um, I don't even know if I know any albums by name. Um, you can do an artist. Uh, artist. I mean, I got to go uh, Young Boy, NBA Young Boy. That's a good one. My brother All right. likes him too. I got it all typed out. So so we got our recommendations here. I mean, I will watch Blade again. I don't care. I've watched that like a thousand times. Great movie. Love that one. Wesley Snipes is just, I mean, he's just awesome. He's perfect for it. But we appreciate you, man. And, uh, you know, we'll be uh, rooting for you throughout this whole thing. Um, you know, stay healthy and uh, keep in touch. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you so much. Take care. Of course.